If you mess with Carl Papa, uh, I'm afraid that you like it, but you do. I'm raising the life of the club. This is a club where everyone dies. They try to dance, but the music that doesn't play. Cause it does not know what they're supposed to say. All we got is bum bums, bum bums, bum bums, bum bums. They try to stick to me, hit you in the theater. Have another theater. Okay, beginning of my project for the Black Widow. It is upside down at the moment. It is not a snowman. It is not Olaf. Um, so this spider, most people will make a frame on the back end for theirs. However, this one is not going to be weight bearing on the legs. It is going to be hanging from a zip line in between my neighbor's house and mine. So I have the PVC in there and then I'm also going to have an eyelet in the top of the butt for added um, support with another rope. But what I did is I drilled out about six inches down and have a straight piece of PVC with the 45 degree connector um, attached to it. They are all Gorilla glued in there. So we'll have the eight legs and then it will be painted later on today. There is the noodles for its legs. So a little bit of progress and then I got eyeballs and different things that are going to go on it. All right, guys, we're going to talk through this spider because I'm horrible at taking videos while I have projects going on. Um, so these legs were a combination of methods from Wicked Makers and also Stilt Beast Studios. So this is pipe insulation foam. What I did in those connectors from the body, I cut maybe about four or five inches of PVC, glued a piece of this 12 gauge wire to it and had it a certain length. And then I cut that down after I got the legs on. And then I got three different sizes of the pipe insulation foam. So I got, I think this is, I don't know, big, medium, small. Um, so I cut all the, of the pieces on an angle at the very end like that. And then you connect them both through a um, heat gun. You can heat up both ends and kind of squish them together. But then I also did put some Gorilla Glue, uh, super glue on there. So I went from the big to the medium to the small and then when you take your heat gun and you heat up it will start to shrink in certain spots so I did it right here a couple inches above the knuckle on each one and you can form like different shapes so they came out pretty cool and then for the spider himself um, I didn't hard coat this because no one is ever near any of my props so hard coating for me is not really needed plus all of this foam is free, so this project I think cost me probably 40, 50 bucks. So as opposed to spending the $300 on the Home Depot spider, which I still would like, um, I went with this guy just in case it doesn't come in. So all I did is I carved this out of the two pieces of foam as you've seen earlier. These are fillable Christmas ornament bulbs, so these are half a bulb. You spray the inside with paint and then when you push them down in the foam, it leaves an indent. So then I took an X-Acto knife and carved around it. Put a little bit of super glue on the end of the bulb and then pushed it down in there so they're not coming out. Um, I did cover the foam in dry lock paint. Then I did a layer of white kills primer. And then I just did normal spray paint. Did a little design there for the Black Widow. And then the mandibles and the uh, pinchers, whatever the hell you call them. Same way I did the legs. I did big, medium, small. Used the heat gun. And that's about it. So he came out pretty cool. His two back legs will be made out of PVC because that is what is going to support him. Because he will be hanging on a zip line. And then I'll also have a piece in the back to hold him up. But he came out pretty cool.